Hi, I'm Barry Sahajian, and today I'd like to talk about a technique that actually makes it very simple to create beautiful melodic lines. We're in the key of G in second position. We're going to go up every note in the major scale and apply this technique to each and every note. I'll play it for you and then break it down. Right now I'd like to show you why this line works so well. First of all, we're in the key of G major and we're going up the scale, note by note, the major scale. And what we do is each note of the scale we're using an approach note to the root and then the third after that. The appropriate third that happens diatonically in the key of G, we have a root, then we have an approach note from below, half step, back to the root, and then we go up to the third, the major third. We do that again on the A minor, we hit an A, and then an approach note, half step from below, back to the A, which is the root, then we go up to the minor third. Well, here's what we have so far. You go up like that the same way with each chord tone. We go to the third now, which would be the B minor in the key of G, third degree, and then a half step approach from below, and then and then a minor third. And that half step approach gives you the jazzy sound or the bluesy sound or a dissonant sound of using uh, tension and resolve to make it sound interesting. Let's make it sound more like rock or R&B and we'll add a little rhythm to it and then it gets really spicy. This technique can happen on any note in any scale, one note at a time. Hitting the root and then a half step approach back to the root and then going up to the third. That's all for this video. Thank you for stopping by. I'd like to point out a few things about this video is these examples are basically just one chord. Even though they sound like more than one chord, what is happening is I'm playing in inversions, going up in two or three inversions, and it sounds like a, it's moving, but it's really not. It will work on one chord, and you can notice that. That's what I use for accompaniment. Like in the last one, it was a G minor, and it went up three times, but each one was just a different inversion. It was the same chord, so it works perfectly. That's the beauty of this. Also, I urge you to experiment and emulate from these. So having said that, uh, please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of the next videos to come. Like, comment, ask me a question, and we'll discuss this more. Visit my Patreon page, and you can download all of the play-alongs I used on this video. Until next time, keep playing bass and hope to see you again.